and welcome to a new video today we're gonna teach you how to uh, change your taskbar from the right hand side to bottom or to right or to left or to whichever corner you want to change it some people they come here and drag it and drop it here you can see how easy it is some they drag it this side some they drag it this side whenever you drag it, it's gonna work but now sometimes that is something like a guesswork uh, it can it can backfire sometimes so what you do if you don't want to guess up you can click on it and say uh, you can lock your taskbar if you want to lock it uh, start manager lock. I'm gonna lock it after so what you do you can say properties when you go to properties this is where you change it by not chancing if you fail to drop and drag and drop stuff this is where you select and say I want to see it where I wanna see it on the left. Then after when you apply, it will go on the left. So you can also do that here and say properties. Then you go to say, I want it to the right. You're gonna find it to the right. If you go back here and say, I wanna make it to be at the top, you can still select and say on the top. Then you say apply. So then you close. So if you want to lock it, you can lock it so that you don't get into that trouble because someone can just drag and drop it there and fail to get it right. So now what you're going to do, go back and take it to the bottom as you want to do. Here, you do that, then you say apply, then it's fine. So what you do, you do this and you lock it. So I've locked it. So I'm trying to dra drag it. I cannot drag it anymore. You can see. This is the good thing about locking your taskbar. Locking your taskbar, you cannot change it by mistake. It has to be changed by somebody who knows what he's doing. So you can go to properties, then you can change it again. Even if I put it on the top, no one can drag and drop. That's unless if you unlock it. You can see it's on the top. But then I try to drag it. I can't drag. So to put it back, you have to go to properties again. And uh, what you do, you click here. Then you go to the bottom, then you apply, then you say okay, okay, then we lock, it's locked. So there are many what uh, set settings here for this. You can say taskbar, you can say auto hide if you want to auto hide or you want you want to use small icons. Look at the icons we have here. You can click on that, then you make them small and uh, lock the taskbar, it's locked. Huh? Uh, yes, we're gonna apply. Can look. We can apply. Oh, so yeah. once you apply, you can see that your icons are small. Why do we make up icons small? We make them small when maybe you have a lot of things you want to use on the taskbar. Sometimes you can tell the computer, no, leave them big until when you see that it's full. When it's full, then it becomes smaller. You understand? So that's why they gave you this setup. Uh, so if you wanna make it big, you can leave it that, and also you apply again. Then it's gonna be what? It's gonna remain in its normal sense. Uh, then you come back here. You go to property, you go to toolbar and uh, say links, uh, desktop, address, whatever you can play with that, those settings and say start menu. You can say shut down, log off, whatever you want to do that. There's a couple of things here you can do on that uh, menu. Uh, then you go here to taskbar, it's the same thing. Then always combine height labels. Uh -huh. This is something good. They can combine. It can say always combine hide labels. Combine when taskbar is full. Never combine. You can combine the label with uh, the the what the icon which you see on the taskbar. For instance, you don't know the name of this program, but you want to know the name of the program. You can say combine. You can combine when the taskbar is full, or you can combine when it's not full, or you cannot combine. You can say never combine, which means it will never show you anything like uh, uh, what they call a name of the taskbar. So that's good. Uh, once you're done with that, you just say never combine. Then you do what? You apply. Then once you apply, you can see that everything has changed. So still there's a couple of things to do again. You can say to custom here, customize which icons and notifications appear in the notification area uh you click here you know the notification area is this you can see this is the place for notification uh that's where you can see your sound you can see your action center you can see your network you can see your sound 
you can work on that and say what i don't want to see this here i don't want to see this here i don't want to see this here so that's what you're gonna do if you want to do that also this is a setting uh which you will play with the taskbar so once you find with that then you're gonna do what you're gonna say apply then you do see that if you don't want to see this window stuff you say only show or hide so show and uh, notifications only show notifications okay only show icon okay once you do that and apply everything is gonna be okay so once we come here you can see now we can see the windows stuff here so you can take those out uh whichever icon you don't want to see only show show notifications only so if i click that and i do go to apply uh when i apply you can see that it came straight so i can also go back to my taskbar and i change all those settings back again so i can go to customize and uh you remember what we, this uh, action center uh you hide action center hide icon notification only show notifications then you say okay once you apply then it also goes you can't see it again so that's it about the taskbar here but if you want to do something else you can say how do i customize my taskbar you click here once you click that so it's gonna give you a lot of things here it says find the taskbar show or hide taskbar unlock and move the taskbar resize the taskbar change how icons appear in the notification area taskbar add toolbar to the taskbar so all of these uh functions they can be accessed from here and you can change one by one so taskbar shouldn't be a problem because it's easier to customize all the way when you want it anytime you want it so but now the best way is if you're using computers with a couple of people who are not much uh computer hour uh literate so they might cause some uh stress why because they can click on things we don't like to click but if it's work uh computer don't worry about that to do a lot of things because you're the only person who use this but if you use it at home you know kids can come and click on things and then you you get some stress and uh with something small so now we this tutorial i think it's uh relevant to you guys and uh you can also go somewhere else to look for that taskbar stuff all the notifications are uh, and all everything you need to do so also you can see we have a, a clock here taskbar on the taskbar then you can change your time zone but this is usually works if you're using internet it can update itself uh but if you're not using the internet it won't update itself you're gonna do it manually you can say change time and date when you click there you can change time and date you can see that the time here we have it's wrong so we're gonna have the wrong the right time what time is that uh 15 15 or 5 they say it's 15 or 5 so we want to change the time on on taskbar we can click here and click here yeah so 15 we're gonna 15 or 5 so we're gonna go here and uh, we say oh five uh 15 or 5 okay or six i'll make it or six it's it's pm okay and uh, the date today is 24 i think not so 24 2021 20, no it should be 20 20 20 20 is it 21 or 24 24 24th today today yeah check the date yeah, 2020 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 11 yeah. it's november today is november uh it should be november 2020 okay if you want to click here and you don't want to do much you click just click there then you select the year so here it's gonna give you the years but there it's gonna give it's gonna run run whatever it's gonna take much time for you so you just click on it it shows you only the year so this once you go back here you can let me let me leave this and i say okay 2020 this 2010 so we're gonna say 2011 20 2015 i'm gonna go to 2020 uh-huh i take this year that's the year i want and uh once i select that i'm looking for the month i'm looking for november it's gonna be 24 november uh we're gonna select that and uh, once we say okay and say okay 
our time should change you can see now the time has changed to the correct time guys that's the best we can do for you but if you don't want to stress about that changing time you just click here and go time and date you're gonna say change time zone also you can see the reason why we're having wrong times because we are uh, using the US time and we're not in the US so you go here and look for your time zone especially they don't put countries they put cities we in plus two I'm looking for plus two plus two plus two this is plus two but it's not us we're gonna look this is plus two we here we select that we say okay once you say okay apply so it will never fail on time so you can see that also it went back and took wrong times whereby we're gonna go back again and select uh, it says it's one uh, is it one really check your time where uh, is it one oh it's not it's not it's, it's it, the time is wrong also we have to take the right time because it went to the US now it tells me 25 here uh, yeah it says it's 25 which is wrong so I'm gonna go 24 and then I go change my time uh, because I changed the country the time zone then it it had to change its what its time so here we 15 what or 7 I think not so uh, 15 or 7 not so okay we say okay we apply after applying then you can see we have the correct date uh, the correct whatever but we didn't get the correct date so the date we didn't change it so we have to change the date again uh, you go back here and you say select date after selecting you say okay okay we apply now we're sitting on 24 11 2020 or oh, it's gonna be 308 yeah guys in thanks for watching guys don't forget to up to subscribe this is azania tutorials